Today I'm going to show you guys what is the best anti-meta subclass and weapons for Mayhem, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell icon, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now this is my first video of 2018, so I kind of figured that we'd go into this new year with a bang. I mean, why not, right? So, what is anti-meta or anti-meta? Well, it's pretty simple actually. Anti-meta is what is supposed to counter the meta. I will go over the best subclass and weapons that I think you should be using, and we will go over that in just a second. Now, the reason I am specifically singling out Mayhem is because Mayhem is crazy. It is ridiculous. There is so much stuff going on at once in Mayhem that it lives up to its name. Mayhem is the Crucible game mode that all your powers regenerate at an incredible rate. You got grenades flying everywhere, class abilities being casted every few seconds, you got people cheating using infinite Nova Bomb and getting 50 plus kills a game, but then you have those people who are legit and play the game the way it's supposed to be played. Another reason why I chose Mayhem is because in Destiny 2, the Dawning will be here for one more week until January 9th. Hashtag thanks Nito. So enough stalling. Let's get into the subclass and then the weapons. As for what I feel is the best anti-meta subclass, I am going to have to say the Night Stalker class for the Hunter. Now, there are many reasons why I actually chose this, and I will go over them. So, let's get the obvious out of the way first. The Shadow Shot Super, and using Way of the Trapper. Tethering, and no, I don't mean using the internet between two devices, is the best for Mayhem. No. It doesn't do that much damage to enemies, and it doesn't need to. Tethering prevents your opponents from using their supers, or stopping their super if they have already casted it. Now the trick with tethering is not to shoot it directly on the ground unless you are in an open area. People can see it and easily shoot it to release themselves if they are behind cover. You want to shoot your tether on a wall or somewhere above your opponents, that way it'll grab them and it won't be easy for them to see. But tethering your opponent isn't just going to stop them from using their super. It also prevents them from jumping very high as well, but my point to that will actually come later on when I talk about the weapons. As for your other abilities, you want to spec for Way of the Trapper for Deadfall, which traps enemies when you shoot your shadow shot, and it has increased range and it will last longer. King Scout makes you sprint and sneak faster while being able to see the tethered enemies. Vanishing Step allows you to go in Viz after dodging, and Snare Bomb slows and disorients enemies that are near it. As for your grenades, you want to use the Vortex Grenade in order to get that Wombo Combo off with the Snare Bomb. For those of you who don't know how to properly use Wombo Combo, it starts off with the Snare Bomb first to slow down your enemies, directly followed by the Vortex Grenade for damage. So you kind of have to do it fast with the Snare Bomb and then Vortex. As for your dodge, it's completely up to you. Personally, I like using Gambler's Dodge due to it feeling like Shade Step from Destiny 1, and for my jump, I like to use Triple Jump for that Bones of Ao feel as well. As for your exotic armor, I would use Graviton Forfeit in order to get that increased recharge rate for my melee, which again is for the Snare Bomb, as well as getting that increased time to be in Viz. Or, if you want to add salt to the wound, then you can use the Gemini Gesture, which after dodging disorients nearby enemies and temporarily removes their radar. I really don't like to get in too close because you will be susceptible to the enemy supers if you don't have your own, which is why I don't use Gemini Jester. However, you can pretty much use whichever exotic armor helps out your abilities for this game mode. Now, do not, I repeat, do not use the Orpheus Rigs. Orpheus Rigs is better suited for PvE content and definitely not so much for PvP. Hashtag still don't have them, but neither does Nito, so I'm good. That all wasn't in the hashtag. So depending on your playstyle, I like to keep somewhat of a distance, so I use the Nameless Midnight Scout Rifle or Better Devils as my kinetic weapon. My Better Devils has a plus 10 reload speed for its masterworks. But if you like to get in close and personal, which I don't recommend, then you can go with something like an Antioch or Adelina D. Just do not use an exotic for your kinetic slot, and there's a reason to this. Next, for my energy weapon, I like to go with Uriel's Gift, but Positive Outlook or any type of auto rifle of the same archetype will do. 
Once again, if you'd like to get close up, a sidearm like the Traveler's Judgment 5 or the recently nerfed Last Hope will work just as good. As for your heavy slot, this is probably one of the most important out of all of the weapons you want to complete your arsenal with, and that is the Colony. Yes, rockets are nice, but they don't compare to the tracking that the Colony has at all. I actually did a review on the Colony that you guys can check out in the annotation shown on screen now or at the end of this video. So besides the tracking, the Colony works great because you will get most of your kills after enemies are already tethered, if they are around corners, or if they just aren't paying attention due to all the chaos that is going on in Mayhem. Most people's first reaction when they hear the Colony go off is to jump in the air if they can. Now jumping doesn't always help a lot if the enemy is already tethered, because where are they going to go? Nowhere. The Titan Suppressor Grenades will do the same thing that Tether does, however, it will allow the opponents to still jump, which is why you want to use the Night Stalker subclass over your Captain America subclass. With this specific build, my clan and I have won multiple Mayhem games in a row and blown a lot of the teams, no homo, away in score. There are tons of different ways that you can utilize this subclass and weapons. You can either play aggressive and get in close, or you can play passively, wombo combo, tether, and then let your teammates clean up the mess and go in for all the kills. I base all of my gameplays completely off situation, and I react as I go. So what do you say on the Animata subclass and weapons? Do you already use the same class or something close to it? Will you give this a try and see how it works out for the next week? Or do you use something else? Let me know in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time. Good work, Guardian. Your light is strong.